Hi, and welcome to another edition of On the Spot. My name is Ronnie Wiley. To my left, we've got three gentlemen who have served our country bravely. They are part of the Fayette County Honor Guard. Uh, Gary D. Woolery, how are you, sir? Did Thank I say it right? Yes, you did. All right. You and we got right. uh, Tom Seffrin <laughs> and Mike Moore. I got all three names right, man. That's it. Good night. Uh, <laughs> anyway, you guys are here for the FA County Honor Guard. We got a fundraiser coming up on March 11th at the VFW here in Connorsville. Dinner's at 5 o'clock. Smoked pork chop. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for it. All the fixings, $8, two for 15 Live auction at 9 o'clock. And Gary, you are playing with the uh, Backstage Pass. Yep. Gary D. Woolery and Backstage Pass will be providing the entertainment starting at 8. Yeah. For about an hour. And then we'll stop and we'll have a live auction. Mm -hmm. And there will be numerous collectible things. I'm going to bring a, a few of my guitars, expensive ones, down to auction off. Mm -hmm. And all this money is going to go. I'm going to donate them. This money is going to go to uh, the uh, Veterans uh, Council slash Honor Guard for fundraiser. Now, you guys have, obviously, you served in the military, so now you're part of the uh, Fayette County Honor Guard. What do you guys do, uh, part of the Fayette County Honor Guard, and what does this money go for? We'll let Tom answer that. We'll let Tom answer that. He actually heads the whole honor. So, Mike, we have you back there to direct traffic. Is that what you're doing? There you go. Yeah, I'll point to who. He'll be slapping us upside the head. We say much over. So, Tom, Mike says it's your time to go. Well, the Fayette County Honor Guard actually is part of the Fayette County Veterans Council, okay. which Mike is the president of. Okay. That's okay. why he's so tall. Yeah, <laughs> I've been a member of the Honor Guard since 2006, and in about two, 2015, I became the commander of the Guard because our main guy, who's part of our Guard, got a full-time job working nights, so he couldn't do it, and he just had a stroke, so he's, he's not with us right now. But anyhow, as part of the Fayette County Veterans Council, all our funding goes to the council of the checking account now. And the uh, expenses we have, putting flags out, Memorial Weekend, that's our biggest expense. Mm -hmm. As Mike will attest to, what is about 3,000, Dale Cemetery? Uh, all right the at that. Anyway, that, that's part of the thing that the Fayette County Council sponsors, which is the Honor Guard that helps out doing it. Um, so that's our biggest expense is that. We have, um, uh, we get a new member. It's about roughly four to five hundred dollars to uniform, and I should mention that we have eleven members as of right now. Two of them are inactive. The one I just mentioned has a stroke, and the other one, her husband is um, in very bad shape. So we have nine active. Mike is part of the honor guard. He's a member, and uh, that's counting myself, who are active at the cemetery. We. Uh, do a rifle salute, 21 gun salute, play taps. Before that, we'll present the flag to the family. And it's an honor for us. We're all volunteers, by the way. There's no income coming to the bin, the members directly. So it's all free stuff we do. Uh, we get a stipend generally from the, from the funeral, and that's part of our funds we get. And that's basically our funding. But anyway, it's such a great privilege and honor to honor our deceased veterans. And, uh, and you said there's 3,000 veterans in Dell Cemetery? Oh, more. Oh, really? Mm. Definitely has to be, yeah. Wow. That's wow. Not, uh, speaking of the cemeteries, there's 11 cemeteries during that Memorial Weekend that uh, the Fay County Veterans Council sponsors putting flags out on the grave, new, new flags, which is part of what we do when we have our ceremonies at the cemetery. We present a flag and a marker at the gravesite. And that flag will be replaced on Memorial Weekend. Is it always replaced every Memorial Day weekend? It has been for several gets, years. Okay. Yeah, it always is. Yeah. Could somebody, like, if somebody sees a flag that's really tattered before then, do they get a new one or is it just replaced every? Jenna, it's just replaced every, because every, it's such an expense for us. Well, that's so, true. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the main reason. But yeah. once in a while, we'll, we'll find one damaged. And if the flag is damaged, we'll take it off. Usually it doesn't get replaced. We just can't afford to replace yeah. them. And all that so but anyway that's our main thing is honoring the veterans and besides you know honoring someone who served our country it's also helping the family say goodbye right. it really is yeah. and it's such a privilege and uh, and that's our pay right there is just helping yeah. you know, honor those veterans yeah. who went and served our country you you've been since 2005 2006 yeah. 2006 yeah. Uh, Gary how long have you been part of the honor guard okay well I'm not part of the honor guard yeah. I am the uh, public relations officer for the VFW, mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> here in town, and uh, I'm kind of like the project manager getting this thing rolling. And a uh, little history, I started uh, several years ago. Uh, I was having a birthday party for my wife at the VFW. And I, some, for somehow somebody said something to me. They said, you know, the honor guard's about broke. And they got a lot of bills, and they got a 1999 Ford. A 350 Ford Econoline. Van. <laughs> it's just, mm. it's just it's an repairs, and, you know, and they had bills because of uniforms. Right. And, and so I, I took the initiative to have a, uh, a fundraiser along with my, my belated wife's birthday, and we raised 440 bucks. And, you know, helped out. So then the next year, uh, really got on board, and we raised $1,700. Oh, wow, that's... And then, so then the year after that, it really word of mouth and people really got on board. So we raised, uh, what was the amount of that, Mike? It's over $3,000. Yeah, it was 3500 that year. Wow. Yeah, 3500 yeah. that year. And uh, the funds has been there for the past several years. And there's one of our members in Florida heard about that. And he matched that fund, correct, Mike? Yes. And uh, so that gave us some good money in the bank. But now the money is getting down there. Yeah. So we need to have. So I'm like the project manager. I'm the, I'm the public relations officer for the VFW, and I'm uh, also uh, one of the trustees there. So, kind of uh, talk to the uh, the members down there and the powers to be at the VFW. And me and Mike talked about you know we have, need to have a fundraiser this year, a good one. So I started earlier, and uh, so I got the wheels rolling, and uh, I want to thank. Uh, TV3 for airing this, mm -hmm. and uh, we have our, our news examiner, Matt's here. He's going to do an article for us and put it in the paper. And the radio is on board, too, mm -hmm. giving us a public service announcement. But, you know, all the monies that are raised for this is for a good cause. Just like Tom said, he said, that is our, our, that is our reward of what we do for our veterans because that's the last honorable thing that we do for our veterans in this county before they're put in the ground yeah. is this with dignity to the family. Yeah. You know, and we cannot afford, we cannot afford to let our honor guard go broke and yeah. not do this. You know, it's just, Gary D. Woolery won't have it. And I'm sorry, well, but you know, you we're going to put that on, you, you know. You know, I've been to, to plenty of funerals with friends of mine who uh, unfortunately passed on. Sure. Who have uh, had the presenting of the flag, who've had military, I guess what they call military rights at a yeah, funeral. Sure. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you don't, I don't ever think of these costs associated with that. Oh, yeah. And it can be kind of expensive. Yes, it can. You know, and so, uh, Mike, what got you involved with the Honor Guard? I was... Uh, 20 years in Navy, I retired in 92, and I was stationed in Ohio, and for my last two years, I came over here. Are you originally from over here? I'm originally from Connorsville, yeah, born okay. and raised Connorsville, yeah. and came over here in 89 to do yeah. 90, 91, 92, so I could retire here, and when I got back, uh, that's when the Armed Forces Day Parade was really a hot right. item, yeah. and I was selected as a parade marshal one year. Yeah. And just seeing it and the veterans that were here, Fayette County is a very strong veterans background yeah. and yes. very patriotic. Yeah. As you can see, yeah. as the VFW does the flags well, on Memorial Day. You know, that, that, that's, well, that and then uh, was a Veterans Day, too. We have it uh, was along the, yes. the, the park road. That, that's, that's awesome. Yes. There's that sense of pride. I think all of us, when we're driving down Park Road and we see those flags that you guys put out, it's just amazing. And it was just something to get involved with, and then Tom got a hold of me and wanted to know if I'd get on the Honor Guard, so I became part of the Honor Guard, <laughs> and the position as the uh, council president came available, and kind of got pushed into that, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> and I've enjoyed it. Draft, it's, draft yeah. is what it was. Is that what it was? <laughs> yeah, I, should, I should comment, though, it was actually Audrey Dice, or Audrey Ruff now, that got you involved with us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, I was guest yeah. speaker quite a few times. For she veterans. had you. Yeah, mm -hmm. there yeah. uh, the Memorial Day services when we used to have them at the uh, park. Yeah. Uh, and it just seemed something that I needed to get involved in. Just something from the heart. There's no way 
if you volunteer for the service, you're going to volunteer for about anything. Right, and right. It's, yeah. it's bringing honor and respect, like Tom said, to, to those of the past because they've, they've done their time. They need that recognition. The family yeah. doesn't understand what they went through. We do. We oh, were there. Right, yeah, yeah. We've been there. Yeah. So yeah. it's just something from the heart we feel to do. Yeah. Uh, this like the, the, our biggest expense is the Memorial Day for Fayette County, uh, all the cemeteries, Fayette County and Dale Cemetery. Yeah. But the expenses you don't know about are like Tom was mentioning the uniforms. Yeah. Well, our rifles, they need cleaned. We can't clean them, so we have to send them off to have them cleaned. Uh, they break every once in a while, so we have to have them repaired. We don't get the ammunition free, so we have to get the blanks that we fire. Uh, I'll correct the uh, ammunition is free th through the government. Oh, that's right, that's right. The rounds out. And uh, while we're speaking of that, well, after the rifle slew, we collect what we call the shells, or actually brass is the military, and that's given to the funeral directors, and they present it to the family. Right, yeah. So yeah, they get that. Yeah. yeah. So speaking of Memorial Weekend, it's amazing, though. Know, to drive through the local cemeteries and see all those flags flying. Right. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Besides the yeah. ones you find on, yeah. the, on yeah. Eastern Avenue yeah. going north. Yeah. The there, there's no question of Just why it was called Decoration yeah. Day yeah. back in the day. And yeah. Dale picks yeah. up the flags for us, so we don't have to do that Go extra back. effort. But normally on the Wednesday before Memorial Day, uh, again, that's volunteers that all go out there. And nobody gets paid for it, and I have a handful select group of people that every year I know are going to be there and they're going to bring two or three people with them. We try to get the Boy Scouts involved, the yeah. Cub Scouts, the Girl Scouts for a community involvement thing. We've had them several times to, to place the flags. Yeah, you, you, you guys mentioned 3,000 or more in Dale Cemetery. Oh. How, many, how many cemeteries are there in Fayette County? I mean, I'm... Well, what we do, 11? There's 11, oh, right, cemetery, there's there's 11 cemeteries and one of those is actually Valley Grove, which is Wayne County. Okay. That's because we have oh, it's right across yeah, on, on one. Indiana one going yeah, north. Yeah, yeah right. we, we, we put the flags orange, up there. Yeah, Orange, Columbia. Wow, that, that's Lick and, and Creek. How, how many how many veterans total do you guys? And, and isn't there a Revolutionary War? Um, there are some. Yes. Yeah, wow, isn't that yeah. amazing? Speaking of that, we do have a Medal of Honor winner out at Union Cemetery, which is also called Lions. Oh, really? Cumberly yeah. is his mm -hmm. is the fellow's yeah. name. He's an Indian. War veteran, and wow. uh, through a couple of guys here in town, Speedy, whatever his name is, we always know him as Speedy. He's the one who got it organized for him to get the Medal of Honor. Wow! And we, wow. as the Honor Guard, was out there when they presented that uh, plaque, the Medal Medal of Honor plaque there in that cemetery, about wow. four or five years ago, or maybe longer. You said Lionsville. Lionsville, or it's a, is it so the Springersville? Springersville is, is, is north of there. Okay, yeah, because that's and I the next one's south on that same road, yeah. whatever it is. Uh, There's a crossing of I think Springersville, Lionsville. My mom's in one of them there, and I think it's anyway. I don't. I know uh, where it's at. The what I've talked about Union is uh, it's got the the church here. Chapel. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Which I think they still have an active service there once in a yeah. while. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll we'll hold a service for anyone. This Saturday we have one coming up that evidently the service member did not get the service. So we're going to go to the AMVETS in front of the flags, do the presentation, do the salute, and then we're going to fold the flag inside the AMVETS and present it to the widow. Yeah. So uh, so that's happened before where, where you, you find out later that, mm -hmm. that, that a veteran... Yes. Oh, sure. Yeah, yes. and, yeah. and you... You still do your, and then hand it, wow, that's I think amazing. the most memorable one was uh, last year, we had a lady that her husband had passed, and he was a veteran, and she had the flag, that, and it was folded and everything the way it's supposed to be. She had a fire at her house, and the flag got fire damaged, so uh -huh. she took it to have it dry cleaned. When they dry cleaned it, they unfolded it. Sure, yeah. And she had no idea what to do, so we went to the... Uh, Veterans Memorial Park, right across from the VFW, laid the flag out on a picnic table, refolded it for and presented it to her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys, know, do you have to be certified to, to fold it? No. Oh, you don't? Okay. You just learn that in the, in the military. You, you, just have to to, you just have to have the guts to yeah. attempt. Yeah, because I've watched it all the time going, man, it's so precise. Well, when each fold do that. has yeah. a meaning of oh, the flag okay. also. Yeah. There's uh, flag etiquette yeah. that each fold represents something as that flag is folded mm -hmm. in the triangle. Oh, wow. Had no idea. Yeah, I just, I just, cause like I said, it's so. That's a, that is yeah. a handed down technique in the military 
And I'm just going to tell you one quick funny, not, it's not really funny, it wasn't funny at the time. I was a drill sergeant at Fort Knox, and we were detailed to retrieve the colors and fold them. Yeah. And I'm a drill sergeant, and I got 12 privates, been in the Army two weeks. <laughs> the commanding general showed up that day to observe the proper folding of the flag. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, right, <laughs> so yeah. Believe me, the old, yeah. me and those privates practice for a couple of hours. Yeah. But that's a handed down technique and a tradition that's in the military. I'm sure once you learn it, it becomes like. Oh, yeah, you never like, get it. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'd, I'd like to mention on one thing, and, and I want to re, uh, mention back to the honor guard. Yeah. People of Fayette County need to be so proud of our honor guard. Number one, you have to be a veteran to be on the honor guard. Right. Number two, rain, sleet, shine, or snow, they perform the graveside service for our dearly departed veterans. Seven days a week, 365 days a year. They're mm -hmm. called upon to do that. Mm -hmm. Now, the last thing I want to leave our community with is that they do between 60 and 70 funerals a year. Mm -hmm. Now, figure that out. There's only 52 weeks in a year. Yeah. So they're doing two, yeah, so, yeah, more probably than two, more yeah. than that, a week. Yeah. yeah. And that's from the goodness of their heart because that's what they do. Yeah. So our honor guard needs to be applauded, and they need to be taken care of. Right. Oh, yeah. And how many people are in the, the, you guys, the honor guard? There's 11. 11, 11 so, the, And yeah. nine, nine are active, and one of the nine can barely walk. So usually I only call him up when we're going to do a detail right at the funeral home, so we do some there, or at a church. You know, if we got to go to a cemetery where he'd have to walk, I usually yeah. don't call and him. anyone watching, if they want to volunteer, we are taking volunteers. Yes, correct? but oh, they yeah. have to be active. They have to be, uh, have to be veteran. Prior, just a veteran. Prior, prior yeah, service. Prior, yeah. yeah. It, so it doesn't matter what rank, Navy. Army. Army. 20 years Army. 20, year, 20 years Navy. Navy. I won't hold that against him. It's okay. <laughs> Army. Don't slam me, Mike. Two armies in the Navy. Yeah. That's why you're in the back, right? And we yeah. have Marines. Yeah. We have Air Force. Yeah. On the yeah. Yeah. Well, Marines, Air and, Force, and, and, Guard. and I learned this. What? Marines are under the Navy. Are they in the... Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't say that too loud. Well, no, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> they'll, they'll storm the... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right now, we've got several Army. We've got at least two, three Navy, and we have one Marine active with us right now. So. Wow. That's amazing. So, but former, it doesn't matter. Members. But it doesn't matter how many people are in the honor guard, you could, you, you'll take more. Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. So, so we have this uh, coming up, uh, this, uh, this fundraiser coming up on March 11th. Now, uh, if it's March 12th, you're watching this afterwards, people can still donate. I'll, I'll mention that. Uh, if you would like to donate and you can't make the live auction or you can't make the, you know, the musical part of it that my band's going to play, please come to the VFW in Connersville. You can drop off a check, just make it payable to uh, Fayette County Veterans Council slash Honor Guard and envelope, leave it at the bar, and we'll get it to Mike Moore, and he'll get it in the bank. Number two, if you'd like to walk into the bank... It's uh, First Federal. First Merchants. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. First Merchants. Uh, first Financial or First Merchants? <coughs> first Merchants. Yeah, First, first Merchants Mer Bank. Too many firsts. Yeah, too many firsts. <laughs> but you can walk in there and say, hey, I'm here to donate some money to the Veterans Council Honor Guard. And they'll know. And they'll take your money and they'll find the account and they'll put it right in there. <clears throat> but the only thing we're asking for, I've got a, a good friend of mine over in Ohio that has already made up two or three baskets that's going to be auctioned off at this. And that's just from the goodness of their heart. Right. But anything that you can donate, you know, for this worthy cause would be, uh, you know, greatly appreciated. Because like I said, the Honor Guard is very near and dear to all of our veterans here. Yeah. And this is bottom line. When I pass, I want them guys that are shooting the guns, 21 for me. Yeah. You know, so, right. but, yeah. so that's yeah. the honors. But then... Uh, one of the last notes, and then I'll shove like Mike talk more because he actually <laughs> talks more than me. But I want to say thank you to we have some sponsors here town locally, and I'm going to tell you their names, and I'm going to ask you do business with them mm -hmm. because they support our veterans wholeheartedly, mm -hmm. and 
the sponsors that's sponsoring my band and this activity is Tim's Muffler and Auto Auction. Mm -hmm. You guys see Tim Snelling, he's a great guy. Yes, he is. And he will, he will take care of you. Now, he's one of our sponsors. Christie Family Dentistry. Mm -hmm. He's my dentist. I only got like seven teeth. He takes care of all of takes them. Takes all seven. No, I'm but uh, Dr. Christie's one of our great sponsors. And then Union Savings and Loan. They are an ultimate, ultimate sponsor. And they told me, they said, we are honored that you allow us to be one of your sponsors. And every time I ask for sponsorship for, you know, because see, the band's On paying, Bank. And, and, you know, you know I mean, they, they're, they're, they're just a great sponsor. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Yaryan Eye Care, mm -hmm. Dr. Andy Yaryan, he's a hometown boy. Yes, he is. <clears throat> he went to school, his dad, Kevin, uh, and I'll put a plug in for him too. He does uh, the, uh, the coating of the uh, driveways and stuff. Kevin's a great guy, and, mm -hmm. but Andy's a wonderful man. He always supports our veterans. So go by and see Dr. Andy, and then Dick Hill and Son Heating and Cooling mm -hmm. from Richmond, Indiana. They mm -hmm. took over Colliers here several years ago, but they have really wonderful people. They do mm -hmm. quality work, and they've always supported me and my band. And then last but not least, Reedman Motors. Mm -hmm. yes. Reedman Motors has been here since night, been in business since 1926. Mm -hmm. And when Chrysler shut all them shops down a few years ago, when they reorganized. Reedman Motors didn't get shut out. That's right. And Mr. Reedman, bless his heart, he is a, 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 a Army Air Corps veteran. And he, I'll tell you a quick story, <clears throat> when he, he volunteered for the, back in the Korean area and mm -hmm. the stuff like that, he volunteered and they said, well, you get three choices. So he, he put down pilot, pilot, pilot. <laughs> and they come back and they said, no. Mr. Reedman, you can't. You got to have two other choices. He put pilot, pilot, pilot. So they sent him to pilot school, and he was a jet yeah. fighter, and he belongs to the Mach One. He broke the sound barrier Good in for his him. jet. But uh, Jim Reedman is one of the oldest veterans that we have in yeah. this community. Good man. Good family. And good family. And the Reedman yeah. Motors have always supported us, and they're great people. But I want to say thank you to our sponsors out there, and they're they're taking care of our veterans. They're taking care of this community. So. Go do business with them. Yeah. Take care of them, you know. So yeah. I just want to tell you thanks for that. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'd like to mention one other, Golf Saddle. They yeah. maintain our our van, our Honor Guard van for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, free. So. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Golf's good people, too. Good people. Yeah, you got the good list there. Yeah, good, good list of, of sponsors. So definitely, without question, go visit those who uh, honor those who gave us the freedom that we deserve or earn, that we don't deserve, that we earn or that we enjoy today. Exactly. Uh, Mikey said you talk a lot. He took a lot of your time. <laughs> yeah, that's scary. Uh, <laughs> you guys have uh, obviously you, 2006, and you you said 1999. You've been with the Honor Guard since 99. Uh, about then, wonder Tom. Yeah. Wow. So, no, no, no. No, it's earlier than that. No, it's about the mid, around 2014 or 15. I think you became part of the group. When Audrey asked you to. Uh, you know, take over being president oh, yeah, of the, okay. uh, oh, the president. Uh, Veterans Council. Yeah. It's yeah. been such an enjoyable time. Yeah. yeah. Time flies. Time flies so, so fast. When, 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 when you, do people need to be asked to be in the honor guard, or is it something that somebody can come up and go, hey, I would like to be a part of this? I'd like to join the honor guard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We, Knock on the door. Well, one of our members who actually lives in Rushville mm -hmm. had one of those cemeteries I was talking about, Union Cemetery. Mm -hmm. We did a service out there, which he was at. He came over to us and wanted to know if he could join us. I said, sure. Oh, yeah. so you don't have to live in Fayette County? No, no. no. Just, yeah. just to be a veteran. That's the yeah, main wow. thing. Just anyway, so I called him. I found out that he lived in Rushville. When I called him up, I said, you know, there, there's a honor guard in, in Rushville, or uh, Rush County. He said, well, I want to join you guys. Oh, wow. So he drives in Rushville to come over here. Wow. Yeah. So must, he's been, he's been very. Yeah, I'm he sure he does. He misses <clears> hardly <throat> any of them. Yeah, wow. So, yeah, so you're right. There is something about. And uh, also, I might mention. 2020 was a big COVID time. Oh yeah, fun time. You know, a lot of restriction. Mm -hmm. We only missed two funerals that year. We only done 56 that year out of about the 60 to 70. Wow. And the two we missed because one of our members did come down with COVID. Wow. And I had to call two funeral homes up, one local, one up in, uh, I think it was Newcastle, that we couldn't make it. But they actually had it active. I think National Guard come down and do it. But I went out and put flags on those two uh, grave sites. But that's the only two we missed during that COVID year. Wow. Amazing. Uh, yeah. And they were able to do it. Dedication and there's so many honor. restrictions, you know. Right, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, way too many. 
So I'm, you, I'm thinking this picture here was taken Memorial Day of 2020, I believe. Wow. And this is thankful to the Connersville News Examiner <laughs> and, and one of the nurses home uh, copied this and put it, uh, laminated it for us. So. So, and, and that brings up another, we have a lot of veterans in nursing homes. Uh, you know, do you guys go visit them? Memorial Day, <coughs> we'll go over to the loop like yep. we do yeah. at, uh, yeah. at the VFW or yeah. the... Yeah. What other Memorial activities Park. do you guys do other than, I mean, because we got Veterans Day, Memorial Day, yeah. or Memorial Day. Uh, what other times of the year do you do anything other than funerals? Is there any particular? A lot, you, there's a few car shows occasionally ask for us, so we go out and we call it a, a veteran salute at a car show. We've done that. It used to be before COVID hit, that Sunday before Memorial Day, we actually went to Metamore. And they had their canal days down there. They yeah. were honored veterans down there. Through the, are they actually honoring besides the veterans, the all the all deceased family members, where they threw the petal flowers into the canal bed. Oh, and yeah. We did a rifle sloop yeah. and taps down there for that. Yeah. And that Sunday before, then that's a number of years. And of course, since COVID, we haven't done any of that. So. Yeah. So, Anytime Dale Lanehart has a car show, he's called. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. You <laughs> so, guys down there. We do yeah. the. Uh, we've done the Alquina. Uh, oh right. Yeah. Two years in a yeah, row. Yeah. 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 So this is now this is your what fourth year that you guys have had this fundraiser. So we had four hundred dollars to seventeen hundred to thirty four. So we're looking at yeah, it's is not actually, our goal. It's the fourth time. Fourth, a fourth time. <clears throat> fourth okay. Time. Yeah. So it, are we since we've almost doubled each time. <clears throat> I mean, four, well, four hundred to seventeen hundred to thirty four hundred. So what, what's our goal this time? What are we shooting for this time? Well, if it's two dollars, we're going to be happy. <laughs> however, be happy. however, yeah. that's not the main yeah. goal. Right? Yeah. The goal is, you know, we would like to really, if the community community would kick in and help us, we really need to make several thousand dollars yeah. to keep our honor guard doing this. Now, you look at that picture and you look at Tom. They're professionally dressed. Yes. And they're like that every time they go out. Oh yeah. For respectability, yeah. for that veteran's family. And they have, you know, in the wintertime, you know, they have, you have coveralls. Yeah, that they coveralls, wear. basically, but it has our emblems, our flags. Well, I was going to say, when you talked it, about everything. the snow and the cold, <clears> it yeah, still but, uh, looks very nice. Yeah, but, yeah. Very, but I mean, it's just, yeah, we, we hope to raise several thousand dollars yeah. to keep our honor guard afloat in business so they can do their duty from their heart right. yeah. for our veterans of this yeah. county. Anybody out there would like to match, give them a call. Yep. Yeah, we'd give like that. Any final words that you got? I mean, I, well, those are about the shiniest shoes. I'm sorry, that just caught my, about <laughs> blinded me there. <laughs> Whoa. It's called Split Shine. Uh, yeah, is that what it is? <laughs> that's part of our expense. They're high, yeah. high gloss. Yeah. High gloss. That's, that's a pretty high gloss <laughs> shine. Uh, any final words as we got about a, about, uh, a minute 45 uh, left in the show? Uh, Tom, any final words uh, that you'd like to it's say? It's just such a privilege and honor for us, and uh, it, gets, it gets to you. It yeah. really does. Yeah. Gary. The last thing I'd like to thank the VFW mm -hmm. Post here in town for hosting yes. this uh, fundraising ceremony. They've done it every year, mm -hmm. and you know, and we'll have a, the pork chop dinner. All the proceeds, the profits from that, goes to the honor guard. They don't keep any of that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, but I just want to thank the VFW here in town for being, a, you know, a very good representative and and having this for us. Yeah, I might Mike. mention. Uh, I think about the first one you did, or was that the Eagles? Nope. Was that the VFW? We did one at the Eagles. We well, did do one at the Eagles. Well, what we did at the Eagles was when I was oh, playing was Veterans for Day, uh, Veterans yeah. Day. We just well, took, okay. we, we yeah. took up a collection. I auctioned off a guitar too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's where I mentioned the mistake on you being the military police, right? They're I was not wrong. letting you talk, Mike. <laughs> they're, not, they're not letting you get the final word in. And you're the president. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Head, head guy. I want to thank He's the Connorsville trustee. Connorsville trustee does give us twelve hundred dollars every year yeah. Uh, yeah. to apply yeah. for it, and. The honor guard is willing to do anything, anytime, anywhere, as long as it's veteran associated. We uh, went up, presented the flag for the bell ringers when they had them last year in the park. Was that last year? Oh, that's been a couple of years ago. We also were very active in the bicentennials. And yeah. usually we, we would be there when we raised the flag up every day, played taps. Yeah. Our so revel I think I've played Reveille. That's the wake up call. Oh. If you need us, we're here available. Just get a hold of us. All right. So, Sounds good. So, We will catch you guys next month on the spot.